Hi, and welcome. This is Gail. Today, I would like to share with you a little tunnel book that uh, I made using TaylorMade Journals printables. That's Lorna Taylor. And I used two of her kits, Winter's Magic and Winter's Tale. I believe those are the names, but I'll have the info in the description box below. And uh, the storyline for this little book was provided by my grandson, Michael, who is five. It is highly influenced by Eric Carle's book, Brown Bear, Brown Bear. Um, however, this one doesn't have as much rhyming. Now, when I began this tunnel book, my vision of what this part was going to look like was a little bit different. Yes, it was going to be oval, but I thought that the cutouts uh, or the figures would be around the edges and wouldn't cover up any of the center of the tunnel. However, the reality is that when you are using uh, papers and designs that aren't specifically created for a tunnel book, that doesn't always work out that way. However, what I have discovered is that even though this is in the middle of my tunnel kind of blocking other things, it kind of helps to build up the suspense of what's behind it. So it is not a loss at all. Now, totally used all of her prints, my grandson's story, and I added just a few things. For instance, this tree. Now, the tree came from this wallpaper border that my daughter happened to bring home last week from one of the thrift stores that she visited. And I cut out the trees, and then I took some uh, gesso and made the snow, and then I added this, which it's called Sugar Shimmer by Clear Snap Twinkle Dust. Okay, Twinkle Dust. And it comes in this nifty, like, salt shaker. So it makes it very easy to use. So I, first of all, I should say that I did take some of my distress inks and go over the brown tree. And this is, since I think it's faded jeans, but I also used this one, Broken China, on one of them. So this might be the Broken China, and this one's the Faded Jeans, I'm guessing. But anyhow, so that was my process for those. Um, I went online and found a template for the oval cutouts, and I made a... Uh, like an overhead transparency, this is just some, I don't know if it's mylar, it's not quite as thick as mylar, but anyhow, and so I used this to cut out my uh, ovals, and the last oval kind of, you know, left it pretty thin, and through here you can see over here, so that's one of the reasons I put a tree there to help strengthen it a bit. So, without further ado, let me go ahead and I'll read you the story, and you can look at the beautiful printables from Lorna Taylor. Red Fox, Red Fox, by Michael Jeffrey Scott. Red Fox, Red Fox, what do you see? I see a bird singing a song. 
and we couldn't agree on the bird, so we couldn't agree if it was a chickadee or a robin, so we just called it a bird. Red fox, red fox, what do you see? I see an owl flying in the sky. Red fox, red fox, what do you see? I see a deer looking at me. Red fox, red fox, what do you see? I see some rabbits hiding in a bush. Red fox, red fox, what do you see? I see a squirrel looking for nuts. Red fox, red fox, what do you see? I see me. So much fun doing this project and you know, not only did I have some beautiful printables to work with, but creating the story with my grandson was a hoot. He and I and his mother had spent the morning crafting. I was showing my daughter how to bind and do a cover for a journal. And as we were working, we took a break to do the story. And he was just a hoot. We had so much fun together. So I highly recommend doing something like that. I used to, and if I can borrow it from my daughter, I can show you. But when she was a child and my son was a child, I used to take, you know, that primary paper, that lined paper, and I would glue down a picture of them doing something. Because, you know, when they're little, you take all these pictures, so many more than you could fill up scrapbooks with. And so with some of those that maybe didn't make the cut for the scrapbook, then we would make a book about them. So there might be a book about living on the farm, you know, with pictures of them. So I'd glue it on the page, and then I would ask them if this was prior to their being able to write, tell me a story about the picture. And so I'd write down their sentence word for word that they told me. And, you know, my daughter loves those books and still has them to this day. And it was kind of before lamination um, or easy access to lamination. So I used that old, oh, what do you call it? It was like shelf liner, only it was clear and see-through. And I used that to cover the book so that if they spilled or got anything on it, it wouldn't be ruined. But those are some of their favorite books, and I encourage you to go out and do that. It's a lot of fun. Now, I will tell you, if you can look at the back of this, this is actually a blue parchment that is about like cardstock. Um, and I thought it would be heavy enough to work for the pages. And for the most part, it did. The only issue was with this last page because, as I said, there's not a whole lot left here. So that's why I put the tree on there to help reinforce it. So there you have Red Fox, Red Fox by Michael Jeffrey Scott. And a big thank you to Lorna Taylor for her printables. And please get out there and make some art, create something, have some fun. And please be sure to stay safe and stay healthy. And until next time, bye-bye.